Welcome back to Falling Vox Gaming, everybody. I'm your host, Blaine, and today we're picking up with some more Farming Simulator 19. So it's the next day, and as you can see, the weather has greatly improved from yesterday's rain, obviously. But that's okay. The weather doesn't actually matter too much today, because today our priority is getting ourselves a way to not have to pay for this hotel very expensive and when we're living on a limited budget for housing expenses we need to make sure we're not wasting too much of that. Thankfully it turns out that some of the local construction crews actually have a working RV that they use for projects. They said that I could rent it from them and so I'm doing that. For the cost of effectively one night at the hotel I got this for a month. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Ooh. There she is. Must be this guy. It's the only one in here, so I'm assuming this is it. Ooh, what do we got here? Nice. It's a nice truck and trailer. Ooh, so someone's doing cotton. Well, so this is what we're looking at. Uh, a little bit dirty, but, you know, it's to be expected. It is a construction truck after all. Construction RV, that is. We are going to go ahead and just hook this guy up, and we're going to bring her right on out to the farm. It's got a lot of tires, so I'm not thinking it's going to be a problem through the actual mud. All right, so let's see how this thing handles the mud. I'm thinking it should be pretty easy. Let's we'll cruise on through this stuff here. The first one's not too bad. I'm thinking it's gonna be pretty easy. So today, what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and get our first field up. Now, the rain is gonna make it a little bit more difficult than I wanted it to be, but like I said, there's some really hot days coming up and I wanna get this field done as soon as possible so that we can plant immediately. So it seems like despite the rain, the mud is actually getting a little bit better. So I wonder if just like the lack of flooding is actually helping. Okay, this is what I'm worried about. All right, what do we got here? Okay. So this is the only actual one I was worried about. And it does seem like we're going to be able to get through it without too much problem. Poor camper. <laughs> oh, it looks awful. All right, so that is going to be that. Just get out of the mud here, and all right. So not bad. Uh, we're a little dirty, but I think we're good. All right, so just another long haul out to the farm. All right, here's the rocks. So we're almost there. It's really nice having a landmark like that. That trip is pretty easy. Now that I've done it a couple times, it's not that bad. Uh, let's see here. So I haven't been out here since yesterday. Far, the tractor's still up on the trailer, so we're going to get that down first. We need to probably move that. Yeah, because we probably want the camper right there. I don't know how well this area is set up for the camp. Let's take a look. So if we just park the camper here for a second, oops. We should be able to just move this trailer out of the way without a problem. Kind of get her locked in here. All right, yeah, let's back this guy up a little bit. We're gonna get this guy off the mud, I think. I don't, or off the dirt. All right, so go ahead and just put the trailer down. We'll set the ramps down here so we can get the tractor off without a problem. Unhook the trailer. Let's go get this guy hooked up. All right, we should be able to just kind of back up here and move this into a little bit better spot, which has a door on. This side. So we actually need to turn it around anyway, so this worked out. So I'm thinking we'll just kind of face her something like that. Alright, and that's that. Alright, so with the camper out here, we no longer need to stay at the inn unless we're already in the area. Um, I'm thinking that for tonight, we'll probably actually head back one more time and grab one more load of stuff in the morning. We have one more thing we gotta bring out here. We gotta bring a planter out here once we're done with this field. So let's go ahead and get started on said field. This tractor does start up really nicely. I'm actually really impressed for how old it is. All right, so I'm thinking that we should start the field right back over here. I'm gonna go ahead and just back up all the way. Yeah, I'm thinking, turn right here. Kind of straighten it out a little bit. 
Let's uh, let's kind of let this thing down and see how this goes. All right, so it looks like we're good. So we're gonna go ahead and just set up a field. Let's see, I'm trying to think of how big we wanna do our first field here. All right, so that just about does it. We're just gonna square it up a little bit here because I uh, <laughs> didn't make a perfect field here, but we'll get her nice and square here. So one thing I did think about while we're finishing this up, this one side here up, is that we need to get ourselves a grain buggy or also known as you know a wagon or some kind of trailer or bucket that we can actually haul stuff with once we actually get this field growing with something and we harvest it we gotta haul it with something currently we don't have anything to haul it with i did see that they have a planter at the shop but i didn't actually look around for a bucket so i'll have to do that one i'm there next to pick up the planter so go ahead and raise that up and that'll just about do her get our tractor out of here all right, so there is our first field. I'm actually gonna go ahead and load this tractor back up on this trailer, uh, primarily because I don't want this thing to sink. <laughs> the ground is pretty wet. I don't know if you guys saw there, but I was struggling in the dirt a little bit and I don't want that to happen when I'm not around. Okay, so we actually resituated the camper a little bit so that way it's a little bit more convenient for us. And we can actually shut this guy off now. It's been a little bit of time. Let her, there we go, shut down nicely, good. Okay, so with our first field completed, we're gonna head back to town. All right, we're just back to town. Ooh, we forgot to close that door. Oh man, um, I hope that wasn't actually us, I left that open. We're gonna go close that just in case that was. I am so sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> uh, let's hope nobody noticed that. Sorry. Uh, I mean, at least the you know the vehicles are still there. That's the only thing they had in there, so that's good. Thankfully, it's just a storage area, not actually like a shop or something where they could have like lost tools or something. I guess there's a cop right here too. I don't see if there's no one in it. Yeah, I've seen that car parked there for a while now. He just kind of leaves his car there. I don't actually know where he is. I haven't seen a cop since I got here, so who knows? But we're gonna go talk to Neil here and see if there is a planter that we can buy because I thought I saw one last time I was in here. So let's go take a look and see what he has to say. So bad news, they don't have any planters. Uh, there's one on order for me, but currently they don't have any. However, 
he did point me to this guy when I was talking about that I need something to load my grains with when I actually harvest. And he did mention that this can be retrofitted to possibly fit on my truck. So that's something to keep in mind. And he's had it sitting here a while, so he's willing to give me a little bit of a discount on it just to get out of his shop. And he gave me the phone number to a farmer that might actually have a planter that is not being used. So I'm going to give him a call. I'm going to park over here so I'm out of the way just in case somebody comes on up over here. I'm going to park on over here. And there we go. So I'm going to give him a call and see what he has to say about borrowing his planter. Okay, so we just got off the phone with a guy named Doug. He said that he actually has a planter that isn't really being used right now. It's maybe not going to work properly. I'd have to take a look at it and make sure that it works before I actually give it a shot. But he's willing to loan it to me. He says he's willing to help out a new farmer. And I guess it's down this road here. Okay, so this must be Doug's farm. I turned down kind of a road over here. I'm not really sure if I went the right way or not. A couple turn offs that I'm not sure if I took the right one. Uh, he did say he has a case tractor and it's sitting out front so I should be able to see it. So this must be it. It's actually kind of a nice tractor. When it's uh, done raining, I might want to kind of take a look at it. Let's go uh, see if we can find... Oh, this must be the planter he's talking about, actually. Yep, so this is the guy we're looking at. He said to kind of look it over before we take it out because he just cleaned it and he was getting ready to use it last year, he said, and it kind of busted on him. It didn't work properly. So we're going to take a look here and see if we can figure out what's wrong with it. There's a couple of loose things down here and all we had to do is just kind of tighten them up a little bit and it works. It seems to work just fine. Everything kind of spins properly. So let's go ahead and hook up the case tractor to it. He said that we can give it a shot just to actually make sure it works properly to try and haul it. He said he doesn't want me to try and take it out of here without it working properly. So let's go ahead and back this case up. This is nice, 7210. Hmm. Let's see, yeah, everything raises up properly. Let's see, should, let's just kind of pull it. Yep, everything's working as it should. Yeah, it's kind of going to the grass here. Yeah, that seems to be working good. Everything seems to be spinning. All right, let's take it back, raise it up. So I'm obviously not gonna be able to grab this thing right now because I don't have a tractor with me. So I'm gonna have to wait till this weather dries up to come and grab it with the other tractor. So this is where we're gonna have to leave off. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.